reporter Jacqueline Allen live in Denver right now discovering many sellers are getting multiple offers on their homes after just one day on the market, Jacqueline. Well, this South Denver home is a perfect example. The sign says coming soon, but really it sold so fast the realtor just hasn't had time to change it yet. In less than 24 hours, they had two offers, both above asking price, and we found out that's becoming the norm. Come on in. When Martin Trimbley started house hunting, wow. yeah, it's cute. Very nice. He thought he found the perfect Aurora home, but the first day on the market, there were three offers. We didn't get the home even though we went above asking price. The market is insane right now. Nice double sinks. His real estate agent, sure. Jennifer Oldham, says gone are the days of low ball offers. Bidding wars are where it's at these days. Take her last listing. I listed it on Monday. Tuesday was a snow day, and I had agents trekking through the snow to go see that house. I had four offers by the end of Tuesday. Real estate experts say the numbers back up the anecdotes. Days on market went down in one month from 80 days to 67. Metrolist president and CEO Kirby Sluniker says low interest rates and low inventory now equal high demand and higher prices. From so March of last year to March of this year, housing prices went up 19%. That's correct. Pretty good investment when you think about it. So look at this loft right here. Oh, wow. So nice. Martin Trimbley is thinking about it, but now realizes things have changed since he bought his last house, a short sale on the market for weeks. Now he has a new frame of reference. you got to make a decision based on what you see in uh, 20 minutes, and if you don't buy it now, you're losing it. The new tactic is if I like it, we'll make an offer right away. Fast are homes going? Jennifer Oldham tells me she has ordered flyers on a few homes, but sold them before the flyers could get there. Now I asked if all of this competitive bidding could drive up housing prices artificially, and realtors I talked to said that is a concern, but that the values are still lower because of the housing slump, so there is room to go up. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. The Douglas County